Rapfest Radio on rapfestradio.com. We're, we're not number one. God is. We may not be the best, but our purpose is to lead you to the best. Jesus Christ. www.rapfestradio.com. Old school to new school. Classics to exclusives. Gospel, hip hop, music, and videos. Live video interviews Monday nights at 8 p.m. Monday nights at 8 p.m. Watch. Watch. Learn. Learn. Love. Love. Support. Support. Rap Fest Radio on RapFestRadio.com. 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 Yo, welcome, welcome to Rap Fest Radio, RapFestRadio.com. Yeah. We are back. We were off for like two months. It felt like a year. Yeah. Uh, we haven't been around since like the week before Thanksgiving. But we're excited to be back on the air. We thank you guys for your support and your patience throughout those months. I know a lot of people were emailing me today. I'm really excited that we're back. I don't know how many are logged on, but if you can hear my voice, feel free to go to rapfestradio.com and join the chat room. The chat room, there's no registration for the chat room. Just go right in and you can chat with us, ask questions, leave comments. Uh, we got Pastor Lou holding down the chat room today, representing for the Warehouse and Sanctuary Fellowship. And... The Boca Chica family in the house, of course, running the controls. Mm -hmm. And we got Eli from Unique. My nephew Eli is Hello. here with us. And my lovely wife Alice is back on the That's air. Right. You've been off the air for a long time. Yeah, too long. So too be, long? Be careful, I'm back. Be, what does that mean? Careful. What does that mean? Be careful. Ah, you know how it is. I'm... No, I don't know how it is. Yes, Expect, you the Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> oh. Exactly. Okay. So should we stop now? <laughs> no, no. Oh, now, but wait, the disclaimer. Roll the disclaimer. Roll to the B roll. B roll. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're really excited to be back. We have a lot of stuff that we want to share today. And we're going to start with one, one important news and update that I think is going to be a, a blessing for all of us. Is going forward on Rap Fest Radio, you'll see more of Eli on the air with us. We have drafted him, hired right. him. Uh, do we force him? No. No, we didn't force well, him. Well, he spoke, she looked, so yeah. There was, there was some force <laughs> going That's on. That's a combination. That's, yeah. like, that's like the headlock, punch in the head <laughs> combination. Now, Eli's going to be with us uh, every Monday night from now on, hmm. as long as you know he's available to do so. Definitely. To help us out you know, as we interview different artists. Uh, many, many of you have heard about the ministry that Eli is launching called Unique. And we can even speak a little bit about that as well, so give everybody a, a good perspective of what it is. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, he's been helping us with Rap Fest since he was born, basically, just about. Pretty much, <laughs> you know. So mm -hmm. we figured it, it's time. You know, many times when you're doing ministry, you, you keep doing the same thing over and over by yourself, but you have to pass a torch. You know, and we're not saying we're retiring and giving him all the responsibility, but we're bringing him in because we know that he has a lot to offer, and also he'll start to grow in this aspect as well. Yeah. Uh, but he's been working with a ministry called Unique, which is kind of what he's been doing for Rap Fest behind the scenes all this time anyway. But now it's going to be official. So why don't you tell him a little bit more? People know this is Unique. This is Eli. <laughs> you've seen the flyers. You've seen the posters. You've seen the tweets. You've seen the Facebook post uh, statuses. This is him. Blame him, not me. Yeah, well, I mean, we're really excited to, to be stepping up to the next level like you said we're not just sitting in the background so much anymore uh and with this ministry uh the the big aspect of us helping and working with uh rap fest is providing the opportunity for people to just uh uh latch on to the to the vision of, of what rap fest is about giving opportunities to people uh like you watching or young people that you know of or ministries that you know of that just want to be a part of this uh community outreach that just evangelism uh ministry that really affects the people in the streets and and unique is just taking another step another uh bar higher to just really support and and really get uh alongside rap fest to make it even better than what it is and just add more uh, of the volume for the team i think and looking yeah. forward to it yeah i know i mean a lot of people probably wondering still don't understand the full concept of what unique is, you know. I don't know. I don't know if you've narrowed it down I guess, to two sentences. You know, I was talking yet. to somebody. Well, I mean, the 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 mission is to encourage and inspire young people 
to be unique. And by doing that, we're connecting people and their gifts and talents to places and events like Rap Fest where they can express themselves. So Rap Fest is not just you know, Bird and Alice, it's not just the three of us, it's not just the team. There's a lot that goes into uh, this event. And so that's one of the, the key areas um, that we're going to be focusing on with Unique Ministry. Um, being a part of this team gives us an opportunity to really show what Unique is all about, which is you have something that you feel you can offer to the right. body of Christ, then start with something like Rat Fest, you know. It's a great uh, ministry, it's a great experience, and... Um, I was telling somebody the other day, and they said, you won't really know too much what unique is until you get involved. Right. And um, so, you know, it's, the, and I guess that's what the challenge is. Um, but everyone has something they can offer. And so unique is going to provide that platform where they can express themselves in those gifts. Amen. And it's not, you know, unique is not a series of concerts. It's not a series of events that's happening. It's more of, I look at it more as like a service yeah. to people that are doing concerts, people that are planning their events, artists that are looking for venues, venues that are looking for something to do, uh, churches that have the talent but don't know what to do with it, you know, talent that's sitting in a church but the church won't support, but they're looking for something, you know, there's a, there's a place for each and every one of us. And that's where Unique comes into play. Uh, it's kind of what we do at Rap Fest also. We, we try to connect as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, get a sound crew, get a, you know, somebody that does whatever it is. You know, they, they're good with promotion. They're good with publicity. They're good with flyers. They're good with that. How do we combine them all and make the body of Christ stronger mm -hmm. rather than have a whole bunch That's of right. little cells all over the place trying mm -hmm. to do stuff on their own? You know, so I encourage you, you know, naturally he's here with us on Rap Fest. Rap Fest Radio officially you'll be seeing a lot of him here. But also, we're going to continue pushing this vision of unique because it is more than just a ministry. So it's a vision that's back there that, that really needs to get pushed for people to understand that there's a support system out there for you. You're not alone. If you're a spoken word artist, a rapper, a, a graphic designer, a dancer, a poet, a videographer, whatever it is, there's a platform for you. Yeah. And if you think there's not, you know, reach out to Eli and Unique. Uh, I am unique at gmail.com and you could definitely get some more interaction with what's going on definitely. and March 3rd March 3rd will be the event uh, the, the official launch launch. The launch launch event unique connect share and inspire basically providing an opportunity for people to connect with others share their ministry <laughs> and inspire others to just be unique for for the kingdom and uh, we have a J Cruz project debuting uh, out of uh, sanctuary uh, fellowship Malachi the Truth from Harlem, New York, and Sick Ministry from uh, Patterson, New Jersey, uh, DJ Transformed, and that's all at IamUnique.com. You can get all the information there and uh, check us out. Hope and to it's see you free. there. It's a, free, it's a event. free event. Yes, it's a free event. There's gonna be giveaways. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be food. Uh, so definitely come out and support. Food? I'm there. Food. There will be food. There will be food. Yeah, definitely. And that's March third at Sanctuary March 3rd Fellowship. March third at Sanctuary Fellowship, 7 p.m. IamUnique.com for all the details. You know, and what's unique about I Am Unique is in doing what you're trying to do, you're kind of using those same services for yourself because right. Eli's not running this by himself. No, not at he all. He has a big support group behind him. Uh, Danny, God Belongs in My City, Naturally yeah. Rap Fest, uh, Revolution Lounge, Grateful New Birth, Apparel. Grateful Apparel. There's many ministries involved in, in, in making this happen, and, and that's what I'm more excited about. Yeah, definitely, you know, definitely. To see everybody united. Like our last video podcast, which, by the way, you can see it on your mobile phone. If you go to rapfestradio.com, you'll see something that says, Are oh, you all blinged out? That's uh, right, I just had to show my phone. Bedazzled. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you go to your mobile phone, you can go to <laughs> rapfestradio.com and you'll see something that says, Get the app. Just click that, it'll open up. You can download it. You'll see all the video podcasts we have on YouTube for the last couple of months. Yeah. And we'll be updating that. Naturally, we're still going to be on holyculture.net with the podcast as well. And what else? So, Eli, welcome aboard. You don't get a Rapfest radio mug yet. No, you haven't so graduated you have to, to earn, that level you have to yet. I'll get that. my unique cup. Of yeah, get it. you got to get, <laughs> you a, get a your unique own cup. unique mug. That's not a bad idea. Just in case I do my own interviews and push everybody out the way. Yo, I'm game. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. There's a lot of good stuff on TV Monday nights. Here. There's a lot of good stuff on TV Monday nights. But, um, so what have we been doing the last few months? Too much. Too much? There's been a lot of events. Christmas was awesome. Right? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was awesome. Good. New Year's. We, now. 
Yep. Um, we we were blessed by uh, hooking up with Ignite. Yes. Yes. Ignite Revolution, right? That's what they call Ignite, it. Ignite, Ignite Revolution. Ignite Revolution out of New Jersey. We also had them on the air. I encourage you to go to the podcast. Go to iTunes or go to YouTube and look it up or just search for everything. Ignite Revolution, yeah. Uh, but we had them on the air. and We, we kind of kicked it well with them. And we were invited to go check out their, their event. event. Kind of like behind the scenes, how they set up. And it was pretty interesting, I must admit, because I was expecting like a tour of the facility and the, the, this is what we do and this is the green room and this is the blue room and this is that room and this is that. We got there and they're like, this is it. Mm-hmm. I'm so humbled by it, you know, because I expected to see this huge, big setup, people going crazy and mm-hmm. drills and hammers and all that stuff. No, everything was done. They have a real big team. Yep. And we sat in the front and just observed this event where the young people were going crazy for the Lord. Oh, that's right. Non-stop. 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 There is something going on every six minutes, something changes. From the moment they let people come From in. From before. Because we were inside before oh, they yeah, started. Oh, yeah, for us, yeah. They, you know, so even the staff and the crew members that are there helping, they have their own Ignite before Ignite kicks oh, off. Well, I was, we went to, I went to the anniversary, mm-hmm. and just, you know, from the last time we went, the team that prayed together wasn't, I think, as big as when we went to the anniversary. And, wow. and, and Justin could tell, this, like, it filled up the whole front section. Wow. It was a huge wow. circle. Awesome. And I took a picture of it, and everybody's just praying at once. It just sounded like a chorus of people just praising nice. God. And then, you know, and then, it, and then they're all hyped up, ready to start, and it's just like, wow. Like, it's an incredible event. <laughs> incredible yeah. event. I recommend that youth leaders take their youth. It's, I think, the last Friday. Last Saturday. Of, the, the last, last Saturday, Saturday of the, the month. month. Mm-hmm. And um, the next one is February 25th. Yep. And I encourage all youth pastors and youth leaders, take your youth out there. You will not it's regret it. It's a yeah. great experience for the youth. It's really interesting. Mm-hmm. Really, really interesting. And it's, it's a great support <clears throat> event for other big events that are happening on a yearly basis. Yeah. You know, like the Faith Fellowship has their big event once a year yeah. or other places. But if you're looking for something on a monthly basis to go, there's a lot of stuff going on out there. And again, like we always say, if you want to do something on your own and you don't know what to do, hit up Unique. Maybe he could connect you with the right people to get, you know, get it started for you. All right. Rat Fest 2012 yeah. cool. is coming August 11th. Where we've been invited back to the same place we were last year. Awesome spot. We were trying nice to be in, at Cortona Park. We still probably could have done it there, but the people at the Pathmark Mall, the building management, they really liked what we did last year. And they told us, you know, you have the green light to come here as much as you yeah. want, whenever you want. So now we only do it once a year. It's too much work. <laughs> but we're going to be back there August 11th. That's awesome. So we're, we're really excited. It's a great neighborhood. We it had is. a wonderful turnout last year. Uh, I don't remember the numbers, close to 2,000 people throughout the course of the day. Mm. So I think that was great. We had a great support system there by, you know, Calvary Church, Pastor Bowser, Triple J Audio, and everybody else. So we are, we're officially accepting submissions for Rap Fest 2012. And if you go to the website, rapfestinc.com, you'll see two tabs where, where you can uh, go through the details for electronic submissions, or EPK, Electronic Press Kit. Or mail-in submission if you're still from the old school and like to put a CD in the envelope, lick it, send it out. Uh, we'll take it. We don't send Who the CDs that? back. We keep them. We still get People some. Still do we actually we still do get, get a good number. Not for nothing. I like to see the CDs come in because it's kind of cool because, you know, you get a free CD. Uh, no, but I like to see the CDs come in because you can send more information, more. It's more personal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't get me wrong. If you send in your electronic press kit and it's off the hook, just send still it in. That's seen, fine. Yeah, We're yeah. still going to see it the same way. But the, you know, it's a, it's a good. It's change. a nice touch to it. Uh, selected artists, like every year, will have 15 minutes on stage, and the songs you submit for, you know, with your demo, don't have to be the songs you're going to perform, but they should represent the songs and the style and the ministry that's going to be represented at Rap Fest. Uh, three songs should be submitted. Don't send me acapellas, interludes, and intros and skits. I don't count those as that. We don't count those as tracks. And mm-hmm. if you send me a CD without telling me play track two, four, and five, we'll play track one, yeah. two, and three. If they happen to not be your best songs, I'm sorry, but that's what we got to go with. Uh, make sure everything is mixed well. Don't send me a rough mix and then a disclaimer on the bottom. Say we're still in the studio recording. Just send me stuff showing that you're ready for this. 
you know, we, we have to go through a lot of music and it's really, it's almost heartbreaking when you put in a CD and the quality is real bad, yeah. you know, and we'll help. I mean, we'll, we'll guide you. If you need, you need studios, you need mastering, whatever, send us an email. We'll, we'll guide you in the right direction. We can hook up with some people to, you know, to give you these outlets. It, it's not going to be free, right. but there'll be people out there that can help you. So just let us know, but don't, you know, don't shortchange yourself. You know, you could do good. Uh, submit your three songs, bio, a bio for every single person in the group. That means your hype man. Anybody you think is going to be on stage with you that day should have a bio. The day of Rap Fest, only those people whose bios were submitted will be allowed, will on, be stage. allowed on stage. And there's, Security will be tight. Yeah, no exceptions. There's no <laughs> exceptions. Uh, references. Include character references. A reference is not, here's my pastor's number. A reference is, here's a letter from my pastor stating that I do attend this church faithfully and I'm a member in good standings and any other good stuff or any other thing they want to say about you and your ministry that they can vouch for and say this ministry is covered and they have my blessing. They can't text yeah. you a reference? No texting no references. Texting references. <laughs> and no. You know what and then the, a reference has got to be someone. It's personal. In, in, it's a personal, um, a leadership, in a leadership position in your church, preferably. I mean, a reference from your mom is kind of biased. Um, I, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend you send a reference from your mom or, you know, your auntie or whatever. You know, your youth pastor, the pastor of your church. You know, those are important because if they can vouch for you, you know, that, that says something right. about Character you. Character reference as opposed to per personal, personal. I think, right. you know, it's funny because that's what I do at my job. So, you know, I always tell people and they're like, can I, t can I get my friend? Can I get can I get they, my homeboy? Uh, no. They're always gonna say you good. It is American Idol character friends. references are very important, you know, and make sure it's put together nice too. That's all about yeah. your presentation. You know, and I, and again, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it electronically, naturally they can't sign your screen and, and send me the signature. That's cool, but if you do it electronically, make sure it's the letter written exactly as they wrote it. If you have to scan it, put it as a PDF file. That's cool. And make sure that their phone numbers are there in case we do feel like we should call this pastor and talk a little bit more about this ministry. I think it's, it adds a good touch. And again, we're only helping you look better in how you submit to us. You may have it all down pack already. If you do send it tomorrow, you have no excuse. Uh, fees, there's no fee. You don't have to pay to be a part of Rap Fest. And we don't pay anybody to be in Rap Fest either. Uh, it's a totally free event. It started out as a local event. To us, it's still a local event. We just have global ex uh, exposure. So we're looking forward to having as many ministries as possible. Every year we pick, uh, we used to pick 32. We went down to 30, went down to 26. We're up to 23 ministries, right. I think, now. Uh, and that's because of time constraints on city permits for the street. So we're picking up the top 23 ministries uh, from our selection. And let's see. Once you submit the package, that doesn't mean you're automatically in. We do have a committee that will look through it. And if you rapped at Rap Fest before, if you rapped at Salem Coffee House before, if you rapped at the Bread Factory before, if you've been on Rap Fest Radio before, that doesn't mean you're automatically in. You still have to go through the process because the committee that does that is not the same committee that does Rap Fest Radio or Salem Coffee House or those other events. It's its own event. Uh, the submission deadline is April 30th. Way more than enough time for you to get it together. If you don't have your stuff together by April 30th, you're not going to be ready for August 11th either. So... Submission deadline is April 30th. Any submission received after April 30th, midnight, will not be, we won't even look at it. You know, if we get around to it, hopefully we'll get around to it and tell you, sorry, didn't make it in on time. Uh, I usually do that right away because April 30th, uh -huh. from April 30th, from 11 p.m. to 12, 12 a.m. is my busiest email day. Right. You know, it's always last like that. The last minute, mm -hmm. I get flooded with emails and I tell people, you know, other people are trying to send stuff too. Yours could be delayed in the queue. It's going to pass. To, and I'm going to be straight up and keep the email. If it says 1201, I have to cut it. You know, I just got to be real. That's, yeah, we, we try to be nice with people. But, you know. Uh, well, but you please, give enough time, so. It won't yeah. enough. <laughs> and definitely go to rapfestinc.com because we have a Dropbox there uh, and a password to go to our Dropbox and leave us your electronic press kit. This will avoid your press kit expiring online. And, you know, some people send us their links. And they send it today, but we don't look at it till the deadline, April 30th, and it expired. Now they don't respond to their emails. So just go send it in the Dropbox, or if you can't, just zip it. Use one of those uh, Send Space or Use Send It or WeTransfer.com or something like that, and send it to us. And that will do it. 
Um, but we're, 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 we're really excited. We're really excited. Um, this year's going to be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting some new ministries, though. No, definitely. Know. Let's wrap for that past. We, we connected with a lot of new lot ministries of new that we've continued the relationship with even to, to right. now and, and have gone to some of their events and stuff. So, you know, it's really good. And even some ministries connected with each other and they've, they've done things together. And, and it's just right. an opportunity for you to get out there if you're a new ministry to get out there and get to know, you know, other people doing the same thing you're doing. And, you know, it's just a way to connect. Everybody connect and get together and work towards the same goal, basically. Right. Yeah, it's good. I mean, like it's, like you said, we do have a lot of people, ministries that have connected. Mm -hmm. um, I know SICK has connected with Ignite. Ignite wasn't really part of Rapfest, but they knew about it. Right. But they've connected with and Blaze. also connected with Blaze Torch. They got the Boom Bap remix as a result of their connection That's through right. Rapfest. Grateful um, Apparel. Grateful Apparel for the sponsorship for the T-shirts sure. or whatever. Um with Triple J Audio, Definitely. who's helping them out on the road with my son Justin, who's kind of like their open MC, opening MC, introducer, or host, yeah. whatever, you know, for their events as well. You know, so those kind of connections are, are, are big. Mm -hmm. And just the relationships that we build through Rap Fest is, is really good, you know. So, okay, my question for you guys. I'm going to interview both of you. How's that? What's the state of gospel hip-hop now? Like, where are we? Like locally or <laughs> whatever it means to you. Um, hmm. I think. Come on, hip hop. <laughs> she can't say she can't she, answer. She can't say too too much because she don't really listen. Um, I don't. She don't listen. She pays attention, but she don't listen. If that makes any sense. I guess. Uh, I think one of the things that <laughs> I'm noticing is uh, Rapzilla. Is kind of something that's really been pushing a lot, and Holy Culture's been pushing a lot okay. of free downloads, and I think that's something that is a is a is a plus. I've seen a lot of you know free mixtapes being pushed really hard. Um, I think the state of gospel hip hop actually you can even go to another level and show how um, the truth, Lecrae and Canton Jones performed live on uh, the Stellar Awards for the first oh, time right. together. Right, that was a big thing because I don't think that ever happened. Uh, no. Uh, the last time they rap, there was a Christian rap on on TV was the Truth and Jr. back on a Stellar Award, or, or Dove Awards, or something like that. Or Lecrae at the BET. Lecrae thing. at the BET mm -hmm. um, with Andy Minio. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it, it's kind of growing, and then you also, for me, I'm seeing that it's almost as though the same group of people that are on, are pushing more. There's not so much. You know the reach. The reach records fam is always is a, is a, has a lot of uh, 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 product coming out, but I don't right. see a lot of um, new artists, local new being. Maybe it's because they don't know where to get their next. Right. Yeah. You push. know, I, I was thinking about that too. I mean, I have a lot of new music. It, starting next week, we'll be playing videos and music again. You know, today we just wanted to talk and kind of catch up, but um, a lot of people have been sending me some music. Unfortunately, it's not all good. You know, I'm just being real. We heard, I heard one the other night. I was like, oh, I don't want to start this all over again. But, you know, and we we don't want to talk bad about people. We want to encourage you and help you as long as you're willing. You know, if you send me an email with your music and you say, you know, this is for artists that are probably not as established. You know, some people are just starting out. If you want a personal, you know, want somebody to critique it, tell me. I may not do it. I'll give it to somebody else to, to review it for you anonymously and just send it back to you and just give you some feedback. We can do that. I have no problem, you know. There's outlets out there. You can send it to all these other websites, whatever. But, you know, I, I'm just wondering, like, where where's the local? Let's talk local in New York. Like, I, think, well, I think the problem with, with, like, the local and not, okay, the Lecrae's and all these, they're getting a lot of exposure. mention and a lot right. of exposure. And they have the money to do, you know, these great productions. And, hey, I, I give them a lot of credit because they've, they've man, gone they've very Absolutely. far in hip-hop, Christian hip-hop than... Advancing the gospel. Ever. Big part yeah. of the, of you know, they, they've, they've reached a platform that has not been reached before. Right. So I, I, I give them credit. But I think with a lot of the local artists, I think that we, we they get so caught up in the, they want to be the rapper, they want to be this, they want to be that, and they lose the importance of bringing out and doing something to excellence. You know, they get comfortable with, Oh, okay. You know, th this is what I can do, and and that's it. You know, maybe I'm, let me let me rephrase what I'm trying to say. 
Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that, you, you, okay, we understand you're, you're a rapper that's just starting. You may not have the, the ability or you may not have the beats and you may not have the, the, the studio available to you. But just because it's not available to you doesn't mean that it isn't out there. You know, they get so caught up in doing things for themselves and within themselves that they don't branch out. They don't reach out to other ministries mm. that could help them to expand. And like, for example, um, you're a new ministry and why don't you reach out, okay, to someone, let's say like Rapfest that has been doing it for years and take some advice and get mentored, you know, or, or get, go to Unique and see what's going on instead of closing yourself into your, this little circle that you don't have much to begin with, but if you branch out, I think there's so many people that will be willing to help you to get to that next level. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's some of the local talent tries to compare or try to automatically uh, replicate what the world is doing. And so they get caught up in how do I make it almost sound like that? But instead of getting the help, like she's saying, from the people that are around them that could probably make it better than that, it, it, it actually limiting themselves. I think, it's, you know, sometimes I say, for some artists, especially new ones, I'd rather you just do spoken word than rap over a bad track. You know, just, just let, let's see your skills lyrically and then eventually get connected with the right people that gives you a, a, a solid, uh, you know, track that can make it to another level. Right. But you, you know, know what? I think that also works, uh, like you them. said, yeah, against them because what happens is, you know, as, as Christian, as a Christian, we want to keep everything Christ, so Christ-centered and we, we do this thing where we insulate ourselves and we don't want to imitate the world, you know, and we don't want to have music that sounds like the world. Well, you know what? Not for nothing, but some of the stuff that is being produced out there and musically-wise is what our youth are listening to. So you're going to come, you know, these guys are bringing these beats that are, you know, and with all this energy and all this thing and you're going to come with something that's cheap because oh it's original and and it's something that that you know oh no i mean you know, you know what i'm saying you understand if, what i'm trying to say yeah, if no, they no, rap no. over the over you know if they take a shot at you know tracks that are current you know as a way to do a mixtape and really show their skills then that's great too you know i have nothing against that either i think it's just when people try to then be original yeah that's what i'm saying where don't try to be too original that you get something that's not really worth yeah. listening to well it it and it's tricky too because it, Everybody has to develop their own style. Mm -hmm. so it, and it takes a while sometimes. Right. I remember when Brothers Incorporated, when we first came out, we're talking back 1990-whatever, and what was our style? We didn't know what our style was. Even then, we were still considered a bunch of old-school cats because we grew up around... I, I was in the streets when this hip-hop stuff started, you know, and so were the rest of the guys in the crew. Like, they used to hang out with these big, you know, big hip-hop names. So when we started, we still had a little bit of that old school flavor, but we still tried to develop our own style. And it's hard, although back then it was a little easier because there was less groups around. But now I think the influence of hip hop in the media, uh, TV, radio, iPod, downloads, all of this stuff, our, our mental musical competition is greater. You know what I'm saying? Like before we didn't have much to compete with, mm -hmm. you know, I mean... You had a couple of, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I could do better than that. But now they're coming from so many different angles, you know. But I think I think what's happening is a lot of people are looking for the easy way out, you know. Oh, are people like this style? Yeah, I'm going to do that style then. People like this style? I'm going to do that style then. As opposed to venturing out and trying to create something new. You know, think of the scripture. It says, sing unto the Lord a new song. And how many new songs do we have in Christian hip-hop? There was a, a while where I didn't stop listening to Christian hip-hop, but all the songs started to sound the same. Auto-tune phase. Come on, guys. You know when, when that happened. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, you say, oh, you're just mimicking the world. But we're two years late. You know, mm -hmm. mimicking the world mm -hmm. two years later. What they finished doing, now we started. Mm -hmm. And then every single song had auto-tune. I, I used to say it on the air. Please, not another auto-tune song. Please tell me. I used to ask people, you don't have auto-tune on your track, right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, but those are those are like phases, and there's so many different things. I mean, I'm still encouraged by watching guys like Malachi the Truth. 
I'm really excited that he's going to be out there March 3rd. He has a very unique style, a very passionate uh, attachment to his ministry. And now that his wife is getting involved in, in, in rapping and helping him out as well, that's awesome. You know, yeah. I look at people like K-Drama, who's still to this day, still coming out with fresh new ideas. You know, uh, D-Mob. You know, D-Mob, his last album was. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's people out there that are still being very creative without having to mimic anybody else. If anything, people are trying to mimic them, you know, mm-hmm. which, is, which is a good thing. Uh, but I'm just wondering, like, locally, like, when I say where are we locally, I'm just wondering, like, who's out there? Who's hot? I remember back in the days, like, you could spit off the top of your head 10 names. Oh, Richie Righteous, Corey Red, Precise, blah, blah, blah. They're all hot. They're hot right now. And either I'm totally out of the loop, which I doubt, um, or people are just dying out, or are they pushing elsewhere? I was telling somebody the other day, because, you know, being so active in, in events, <coughs> you kind of wonder when you don't, when me and this particular person, it was like if we didn't know about something, who's really talking about? It? Because if you're if you're someone like us who's always connected, you know, like you just said, if you probably you know, where is it then? If you're not, right, uh, I haven't if heard you're about not, it. If you haven't heard about it, then who's talking about it? And um, I think that could be pro- that could be a uh, an issue where people are searching for certain, um, like you were saying earlier, they're searching for certain styles because they're seeing. Uh, a response to it and they're trying to like blow up on that area because they feel right. nobody else is maybe right now but maybe it's because nobody really wants to hear it and it's just a the, the last phase I mean I think I think that's that's something that the body needs to come together and really try to work on those different areas on how do we make this better how do we how do we really reach uh, the young people I mean I think uh, with Ignite with Ignite their style is is like out there to see to see young people describe out there define it's, it's out there <laughs> fire extinguishers and people's face no but um yeah. <laughs> it's uh no and, and we want people yeah, to go on that too. No. but um they i mean sick just seeing sick step their game up with the music you know they have a mix of original and some and some current beats that are out there on, on, on the secular radio just to really attract the young people that are hearing the music and whether or not they're saved and just getting them to to get hype but then hit them with these words that is like, wow, like you could rap over that stuff and, and still have something that means something to me. I think it's they have to, artists have to find that balance. Right. Of of being of having relevant and, and catchy music. But also having powerful words. Right. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. it's important, you know. And and there's also a balance as far as their ministry is concerned, because many ministries have taken on different responsibilities. Mm-hmm. You know, and you look at some of the ministries like uh, Brother E has Elements Church now, so he's not really focusing so much on rapping like he used to back in the days. Because now he's a pastor. There's a different responsibility. Right. You may still support the movement, but now you're doing something else. Richie Righteous, even as busy as he is, which I would love to just like follow him around one day and see he's, how does he do it. He's gonna be on Battle Cry. I know he's gonna be a featured battle. artist. That's he's, that's, that's you know, awesome. For him. But he's also pastoring. And that's 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 a crazy. That's what but, I was. You know, I was that's shocked. what I'm like, saying. He's also that's a lot pastoring. of work. And he's every once in a while there's a new video popping up on the internet. And, see, you know? and that's but this is my pushing. my 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 issue with with the Richie Righteouses and all these other guys that have been around for years. Where are the new guys? Oh, okay. That's when I when do we make space? For these new guys to start shining, well, and, you know, and, 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 and Richie Rodgers' defense a little, you know, I know he's and helping he his young, rich he's boys, helping out oh, yeah. his, his they, they sister help. and his rich boy. So he, and that, but that I goes, what and you're then saying, that goes though, to my next, veteran. to my next, my next statement where you know the veteran guys that have been doing this, and you know you've seen a thousand flyers with their names on it, you know, to the point where you just don't want to go to another event because it's the same. Five or six rappers doing the same thing. I, mm-hmm. I don't want to go watch them to another event to do the same thing over, you know. I think it's a responsibility to the older guys that have been out there and have been doing it and know how to do it, you know, to disciple. reach out to the and disciple. Now, it's the responsibility, too, of the up-and-coming ministries to let themselves be mentored by right. these older guys so they can bring their stuff up to the level that these older guys 
have been doing and have been successful doing it. And even better, right? Yeah, and and then, you know, I think then that way, you you don't have to sit here and go, okay, what's happening right now in hip-hop besides Seda and Heeson Lee and Richie Righteous and, you know, the same six groups doing things, you know? What else is happening? You know, so get these other young guys coming up. Let yourself be mentored. I think that is so crucial in any aspect of ministry. Let yourself be mentored. If you're not letting yourself be mentored, you're setting yourself up for failure. Right. That's why I love what what Richie's doing, actually, with the rich boys. Boys and... And his sister as well. And Seda's part of the church. Church now. now. So, you know, so they they have a group of people. And Richie's always hustling, you know, hustling in a good way to to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. You know, always getting stuff done, which is, you know, someone that I actually say, if you're out there and you're a veteran, you've been doing it as long as him, Model yourself after what he's doing because he's right. doing stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, Richie's doing stuff. And, and they, they, you know, if you're going to do something and you want to be successful, do model someone who's been doing it for years and is doing it right. Right. Latch that's what I mean. You know, latch and, and, it, yeah. and, and, and latch onto it and, you know, and learn. learn. Yeah. It's so important to learn, not go out there and, you know, it's not like when you guys started that there was nobody really to, to lead you guys because it wasn't, you know, 20 years back when... Some of you guys, the veterans started rapping. There was nothing to model yourself right. by. Now you have. You have the model. You know, follow it. Right. And then, you know, you have people like Prodigal Son, who out there in Florida, he's he's developing a lot of new artists. New artists. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, one of his artists is coming to Salem Coffee House. Not this Saturday, but the March. next one. Bridget. Uh, her name is Sirius. Yeah, Sirius. Sirius Jones. Sirius. I think we're going to have her on Rap Fest Radio maybe before that. Yeah. Uh, she's going to be coming out, you know, but there's a lot of new artists. And, and, and I, I say that question when I say, you know, where are we now is just to get some feedback. You know, uh, I don't know who's watching this, if there's anybody in the chat room or not, or maybe on a podcast, they'll watch this. Email us and, and let us know your thoughts, because we want to lead up to Rap Fest this year with an explosive ministry followed by a really good lineup. Not an explosive lineup followed by some good ministry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We want people that are that are there to minister because we've come across a lot of new up and coming artists that have blown us away. You and know? I, I don't want you know just on, on that same note as far as rap fest, I don't want it to be that you don't submit to rap fest because you're a new group and you think that only groups that are established make it to rap fest because right. that's right. not the case. Right. No, you're no. a young group. You're a you you know you're young starting in in the rap ministry, but you have you have stuff that has is blowing our minds. You know it might not have the best production, might not be the best mix, but you know if you're going out there and you have a message that's good and you have a message that the streets are gonna respond to, you know what? We're gonna help you. Right. It's it's not like we're gonna just you know say oh no you know forget it you know whatever because we it's like you said we've had. Big groups followed by a group that's no one heard of. They're they're new. They're just starting out. But the message in the rap, you know, the right. the, the the content in the right. rap is, is what. I remember the first time I heard Three D Remedy, when he sent his CD. I'll never forget. It was he's wearing a light blue fitted cap and a <laughs> blue and white jersey, and I was like, "Yo, this dude sound like a Fat Joe type rapper or something," you know, which was that was a compliment. Yeah, you know, and. I had never heard of him, so I, we called him up, and was, yeah, we put him in on, on a rap fest, and he was like, you know, I didn't want to submit, because I, I didn't think I was ready, but you don't, you know, you have to trust in your mm-hmm. ministry as well, but there, there's a lot of good stuff going on, you know, I've been watching online, there there are a lot of the veterans that are still doing stuff, which is great, it you is. know, which is great, there's some guys that have disappeared, if, if you've gotten a tweet from me in the last five or six months saying, where you at, hit me up. Uh, cause there's been there's been a few guys yeah. that I'm just wondering where are they now? You know, I know they haven't retired. That would be an interesting episode. Yeah, where are they now? Oh <laughs> man, they don't they do that on TV, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we have to yeah work on our we got to talk to our multimedia staff see how we could do a really good where are they now make that episode. Happen. Make that happen. Make that happen. Be unique. Um, <laughs> yeah, we you know I just I'm just I'm just curious because we we have a lot of good ministries out there, you know. And naturally, let's be real, New York is not New York as big as it is, the home of hip-hop, and if you can make it here, you make it anywhere, but one thing you ain't going to make here is money, uh, <laughs> as far as rap ministry is concerned, you know, and I think that discourages a lot of people as well, Yeah. and, you know, they don't want to go out there as much, 
you know, if, if we don't have a budget to bring you in, I'm sorry, we don't. If you want to do it anyway, fine. You know, hopefully you can sell a few CDs. We give you thirty, forty dollars on the way out. You know, thank you very much. And that could be discouraging for some people. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, that's also discouraging more for people who don't have the full plan of what their ministry is supposed to be already down. You know, some people think ministry full time means getting paid. You know, a nine to five salary for doing ministry. Full time ministry isn't for everybody. Find find me a place where I get paid nine to five salary for rapping. I'll be writing songs. I'll force myself to memorize the things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean. Where could where you can't not in New York? It's not going to happen. Uh-uh. You know, as much as we say there's nobody out there, I think there's too many people out there. You know, so everybody everybody's kind of spread out. And when I think what's happening too is when we think that there's only a few people out there, what's happening is that those few people are the ones that are really making the impact. So everybody else is kind of dimmed out. Uh-huh. You know, so we we can't really see the up and coming because the ones that are hitting hard are hitting so hard still. That doesn't you make know, room. Yeah. Not that it doesn't make room, but you just don't see it because you're too focused on what's hitting really hard. And yeah. also, I think what happens too, you know, we have there's a lot of local talent. You know, you know, Brooklyn and in, in the in oh yeah, New absolutely, York, you know, absolutely. The, the, the New York area. You know, so why do we have to go out of state to bring people in? I don't know. Good question. You but know, I, why can't we give that, exposure that to our to... our our, you know, our, our people and give them a I chance, think, you know? I think that goes back to, though, like, knowing where to look for these things. Knowing like where to look right. for these outlets, these resources. And, um, you know, one of the, the the reasons for Unique is to provide that platform for people to be connected to all those resources. Right. You know, for new ministries. I mean, you know, J. Cruz Project, that's a new ministry. It's not hip-hop necessarily. Um, but... You know, it's a ministry that's going to start up and, and share their message. And one of the things we're going to do is connect them with people like Aggressive Progression, connecting uh, AP Films is going to probably help do some music videos or some type of a documentary. Or we'll have Triple J Audio that can help them do audio for their sound, you know, uh, uh, and their events. I think people have to humble themselves to also be able to ask questions, ask for help. Right. Don't be ashamed to ask for help. I think one of the things I've learned in just preparing for this event is learning how to ask, you know, understanding that you're not going to know everything. You're not going to be able to get everything on your own. You need to help. You need to ask for people that could help you, could provide answers or direct you into those areas where, um, you know, you can get that next break or get to the next step. Right. You know, I think, uh, I think... There's that that attitude that I gotta do me. I'm gonna do it my own way. Cause if I, if not, you know, it's 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 gonna be someone else's. It's not gonna look like it's it's me that came to it. But in the end, it's not about you. It's about the message you're bringing. So right. work with the body, and then you'll find that. But you gotta you gotta look for it. You gotta ask. Right. Yeah. I mean, and there's there's a lot of information out there that, that we can share and and get people you know to the next level. But and, and now the responsibility of youth pastors and pastors. As well, you know, who do you bring in to minister or maybe you don't bring in anybody, which is also cool. You know, we're not forcing you to do anything. Right. You do what, what works for you, but you also have to, you know, be sincere, you know, be sincere with an artist and tell them, hey, you know, and if you don't understand the style, don't critique it. Ask somebody who understands it to critique it because you're always going to say, good job, my son. Hey, you can do it on Sunday morning. <laughs> the guy thinks he's a superstar and he goes out there and he's like, you're setting him up for failure. But, um. There, you know, there again. There's there's a lot of good ministries out there, mm-hmm. and what I want to do right now is I want to encourage all of you up and coming ministries. What's an up and coming artist? Someone who maybe we just don't know yet, or nobody really knows yet, or you've only rapped at your church, or you rapped at two or three places, or you just got your first CD. I don't know where to go. Go to rapfestinc.com. Look at the submission process and see if it's something you're interested in. Send it in, and let's see. Maybe it maybe it'll work out for Rap Fest. I don't mind doing a rap fest with all just local artists. You know, that's what we do. That's what we do. Right. You know, because our our main focus is to present the gospel. You know, that's so right. we can do that. Don't you know? I'll mention names just for the fun of it. We can do that with Lecrae or without Lecrae, with Andy Minio or without Andy Minio. You know, with whoever Idol King. You want to go old school, bring them in, or don't bring them in. 
we're still going to do our ministry part. If we only have two ministries from the local neighborhood, guess what? We're still going to have Rap Fest. But we want to keep up with what we've been doing and, and bring them hard-hitting ministries. And, you know, I don't want to go to calling friends and say, yo, come rap, come yeah. rap. We've never done that before, and I'm not going to do it now. Uh, I already got a lot of people sending in submissions and, and you know, saying, yo, thanks for the heads up for Rap Fest. You know, we're going to start sending in our stuff. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for those ministries that are really interested in doing street ministry. Nice. This is right. a 15-minute set. Unfortunately, sorry, it's still a free event. You know, we're doing it in the street. It costs us money to put this event together, and that's where all our money goes up into preparation. But um, it's 15 minutes you get to just share your heart with the streets. All those people that are writing lyrics and saying, Lord, this is to save that one kid. Come out and minister to that one kid. You know, and all um, those ministries that are always saying we're doing it for the streets, yeah, come submit because it's just the streets. Yeah, there, there's a lot, you know, and record labels that are out there, don't don't be embarrassed to submit your artists. That's right. You know, um, if, if it's, it might fit. It might fit. You know, there, there are a lot of, there's a lot of new artists. So Kingdom Time Entertainment signing a bunch of people. You know, so we're, we're too, yeah, yeah they're, they're doing some good stuff too. You know, so there, there's some labels out there that are that are pushing hard. Okay. You know, uh, by the way, shout out to John Wells. I was chatting with him the other day. He's doing good. Um, he's working on some new ministry stuff too. It's cool. funny because I asked him kind of kind of the same question we're talking about now. Like, what like what's going on nowadays? He said, "Man, I'm still doing what I've been doing for the past twenty years, pushing the gospel." You know, that's why. When we were talking before about the old school guys that are still doing it, kind of like, not that it's not making room, but we just see them all, because that's the passion in the heart. I'm going to keep doing this until I can't no more. Yeah. Not until somebody else comes up, because you're not just going to pass the torch and say, oh, you're doing this now? Okay, I quit. They're going to, this is their passion. They're just going to hit it hard. But at the same time, we, we like to see the new guys come up. You know, I like to see, you know, sick on stage with the new vision behind them. You know, the new mm -hmm. guys coming up behind right, them, right. already hyping them up and, and helping them out and getting stuff in. Mm -hmm. Again, back to Richie Righteous with the rich boys Richie behind rich them. Boys behind you them. know, uh, Prodigal Son with Kataz and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's the Spanish group? I forgot their name, but they bilingual coming up behind them and, and doing stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And that's important. The same thing, you know, shout out to artists like Raw Servant who's still hitting hard. Yeah. You know, that's he, right. He, he, he does stuff. Sometimes I'm like, how'd you get that? <laughs> you know, how, how do you, you know, to Dwayne, Dwayne Wade's uh, surprise, party. surprise yeah. birthday party, you know, with, uh, what, with, Yolanda Adams. with Yolanda Adams. You really, you know, but there's opportunities out there for those people that seek him. And I'm sure if he was sitting here right now, he'd say, you know, it's God's favor, God's grace, but also it's, like, it's a grind. Was it Brinson that did the Tebow video and got on to ESPN? And, right. And, and, you know. Oh, Brinson too. Brinson's been hitting me up as well, and he's submitting for this year's Rap Fest. I think he, that's why he hit me up about. It. He's never been to Rap Fest before. Look at that. You know, but those are those are the kind of people we like to connect with. People that are interested in doing ministry. You know, uh, I'd love to have all the old school guys come out and just do it. You know, I would love to have a Rap Fest. Sean Slaughter, cross movement guys. You know. Uh, <laughs> Urban D, all those guys just come out here and, and, and do it big because they've been doing it for years. But I, I honestly would love to see the new artists, you know, because it, it'll, it, it gives them an opportunity to do a lot of new stuff. Um, what else do we have going on? Rap Fest, August 11th. Uh, Rap Fest, August 11th. It's going to be an all day event in the streets. Naturally, we'll have the night before Rap Fest. We'll announce those details as well. We'll have a special guest and a speaker for that. Um, and the artist, once you get selected, you'll get a lot of details and information from us as well. And uh, again, you know, just reiterating new, new ministries, don't be afraid to submit. Don't be afraid to, you know, put your stuff out there. You never know, you know, and even artists that are submitting for Rap Fest, you know, if there's any advice I would give you, take pride in your submission, please. Right. Yeah, it's important. You know, it's, it's very like a... important because we don't know you. And when we get the submission, if it's if you're, it's your resume. Is, is you, it's, right, it's your it's resume. Repre it represents you. <coughs> so take pride in putting together your EPK. If you're mailing it in, take pride in preparing it. And please include everything that we requested. You know, don't don't leave something out because you don't think it's important. If we put it in there, believe me, it's wow, because it's fun. important. So just make sure you take pride in that. Don't write your reference letters on a napkin. Don't write your bio on. Remember you know, that? Yeah, yeah that. we had we once Somebody. had someone write their bio on a napkin. So yeah. 
you know, take pride because you write yourself on a thing on your napkin. I'm going to go, my God, this guy couldn't afford paper. And, you know, you know, what, what, who what is we, he? We don't you know, know what to expect. We don't know what to expect, you know. And, you know, so but, just take pride in it. Yeah. It represents do everything unto God with Amen. excellence. Yeah, just, just do it up. Do it up. Uh, and again, there's, there's artists out there. There's, there's, there's producers out there. There's graphic designers out there. There's so many things out there that we want to help connect you with. Mm -hmm. um, if that's the least we can do in this 15 minute set on Rap Fest stage, you know, and we'll we'll stay connected to you. All all the artists that have participated in the Rap Fest still get emails from me if I still have their if their contact info has not changed. So this date, 18 years later, we still get uh, in touch with these guys because we love to you know share with them. Talking about getting in touch with people. One, congratulations to He Sun Lee who gave birth recently. Yes, you did just, well, oh, she's so yeah. pretty, that gorgeous little baby girl. During the holiday, during the yeah. holiday season, she gave birth. Congratulations to Eric E, whose wife is expecting, expecting. and awesome. she should be giving birth. I, I don't know when exactly, but she's you know like four or five months in already. Mm -hmm. um, Man, shout out to Todd Bangs who keeps emailing me. He's doing big things out there in Rochester with uh, photography. Richie just had another kid too. Richie yeah, Richie's Righteous. wife oh, just Richie's had a baby. Righteous. Who? Oh, Blaze, Blaze Torch. Torch. Wife wife a lot. Baby girl. Hey, you know what? If new, the artists don't, if, new artists, yeah, right if new artists don't come up, we'll just have to give birth to more. And <laughs> train them. They're all born in the right house. There we go. Give us 14 years. No to Blaze Torch. I still haven't met the baby. Okay? Just, just throwing oh, it out that's there. That's your fault, though. Marisol. That's your fault. You know, I, gotta I know it's my I have, fault. I know I it's my fault. It's my fault, but I still have not seen the baby. Just saying, just saying. I had to defend them. They do one. not live that far from here. Just saying. She's probably saying the same thing. I know. <laughs> they don't live that far from here. Oh. You know she's gonna say something to me on Facebook. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, man, shout out to all of those families, man. God bless you guys, definitely, and you know, increase blessings upon your life, your whole family, and everybody that that's surrounded by that bundle of joy. Wow, that's a lot of babies. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a lot of babies. That's pretty cool. That's gonna be. I think K Drama had another baby. K Drama, I don't. K Drama, how many babies you have now? I know. They're right? always having, They're babies. Always having babies and making <laughs> records. What a life! When I grow up, I want to be like K Drama. Oh, Even Todd God. Banks had. The... I caught Todd Banks too. I lost count. No. Todd has like oh four. <laughs> No, but this is it's good. You know, it's good. The future and, of music. I hope. But, <laughs> but we're also saying At this. Least. I hope that in, in, in you hearing this, you see where we're coming from. That's the kind of relationship we want to build with all the artists. That we, I, I want to know more than just your music and your tracks. I want to know more about your life. And, you know, we want to be friends. We want to have. Not because we're nosy. Not beca no, not because we're nosy. No. And, <laughs> you know. It's building relate. It no, really is. It's it so is. important it to build yeah. relationships. You know, not, not just, you know, a name on a flyer. You know, but we know this person. We know their wives. Right. We know their family. You know, it, it's so important. Right. And we we can celebrate with them when something good, and we can you know cry with them if we have to, rejoice with them when we can. You know, and Definitely. that's that's how we build a community. That's how we build a, right. an awesome rap fest, an awesome unique event, an awesome rev lounge. By the way, Pastor uh, Jose, shout out to you as well. Uh, Pastor Pablo Pizarro, so many shout. It's like I feel like a shout out moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pastor Pablo Pizarro out in Jersey, uh, also always doing big things, always hitting me up. Uh, Pastor Jose Cruz, we said, and uh, Pastor George, George from oh, Ignite. From oh Ignite. yeah, George from Ignite. Oh, oh the, the whole Ignite crew. We gave him some. You owe us, you owe us royalties for today's show. <laughs> today's show is sponsored by Ignite. They didn't know it yet. <laughs> They'll know when they get the bill. Um, shout out! Oh, shout out too to all the pastors that you know were. Being kicked out of schools and stood for Taking their stand, stood definitely. their ground and, and got arrested. Some of them got arrested. Whatever. I don't know. Props I, to you I, because yeah, I, I, I ain't getting arrested. <laughs> but hey, I'm sorry. I pray. I'll pray for you. Things are happening, but, but I'm know, a chicken. I'm but, not getting making arrested. Some moves. They were they were <laughs> in Albany yeah, today they, they, too. They were in Albany today. They did uh, they did that Brooklyn, did Bridge Brooklyn Bridge walk thing. But you know what? Shout shout out to all the people that are taking a stand for the gospel. Man. You know, and just be careful, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do prison ministry, but not to visit my pastor <laughs> or any other pastor. You know, well, but they're all good. They, oh, man, shout good. out to Elements. They got a new spot. Oh, yeah, They've Elements grown got a so new much. Sunday spot. They got a new spot. Um, I saw pictures really online. It looks really good. It looks like so a nice congrats, reception hall. Congrats, Brother E. Definitely. It looked like a reception hall. Definitely. I was like, yo, oh, nice, look at my nice. eats on over there. <laughs> uh, naturally, always shout out to Sanctuary Fellowship Church. That's our local church. 
Uh, this Friday, the youth have their second night, the second Friday night that's called The Warehouse. The warehouse. Uh, you want to come out to Sanctuary Fellowship, 1469 St. Peter's Avenue, junior high school and high school kids. This is something for you. Parents, if you're the ones listening to this, bring your kids out. Uh, Sanctuary Fellowship, 1469 St. Peter's Avenue, The Warehouse. There's a new series that's starting up called Real Love. Uh, what is it? How to give it? How to get it? This all of that so stuff. Oh, real. There you go. Those that's songs the theme song for the whole series. <laughs> but uh, Pastor Lou is starting that series this Friday, if you if you were at last Friday's event, uh, you know exactly what the warehouse is about. It's, it's about yeah. empowering the youth to do ministry and get them involved, get them excited for the Lord. Uh, Sick was there. They ministered. Also, Sick. Saturday, the Salem Coffee House, 1408 Bryant Avenue in the Bronx. Um, Sick, Sick is going to be there. And Dave Plus, TV. And Dave, Dave TV. TV is TV, be, yes, TV? Yeah, yeah like yeah. television. Dave TV, they're going to be there. That's this Saturday. Doors open at 7 o'clock. Donation is $5. What does he do? He's a singer. Bryant singer? Avenue. Good stuff. What? Oh, yeah. February oh, yeah. 25th is Ignite. We can, we will uh, Ignite again. We're going to start. We're going to listen to the podcast no, and listening. see I'm how listening. many times we said Ignite today and we're charging. We're just going to charge them. Just charge them. <laughs> we're charge That's them. it. Next time we go to Ignite, we're going to say, instead of giving a donation at the door, okay, pay. Pay up. <laughs> pay, us. pay up. Hit them no, up and bro. let them know. Yep. Give them, give them the warning. But um, what else? Anything else going on? We got the Warehouse Friday, Salem Coffee House Saturday. March 3rd, we have March Ignite. 3rd. March 3rd. Unique. Unique. You said Ignite. You again. see? I wanted to collect. <laughs> I, wanted to collect. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to collect. That's why I had purpose. to say it again. So we have Unique March 3rd. Come out to that event as well. Um, there's a lot. Um, see. The uh, what else? There's um, the uh, right side up entertainment is gonna be at Harvest Field oh, right. coming up. Right for side Jacob up Asa, entertainment. 24th. Oh, that's right, Jacob Asa. Um, oh, what right. is it? The re-release of the, a no, of an no. album or some new? It's stuff? an unplugged. They unplugged got they have new pro- they have new stuff, right? new project. They got a new artist, uh, two young female uh, rappers. Oh wow! That's joining their crew now. So that's that's also something that's going on. That's February twenty fourth at Harvest Field Church. Um, what else is going on? Um, what else is going on? I just logged on to guys. There's a lot of stuff going on. So youth passes. If you say there's nothing for your youth to do, there are a lot. Or you don't know what to do. There's something to keep them busy. There's places to take them. Come on, get them. Get get out there. Get the information. Take them out there. Keep those youth busy. Or you know what you do. You go to IamUnique.com, that's I-M-U-N-Y-C.com, and look for information there. Yeah, Then it'll be your us. responsibility to put stuff up there. There you go. Uh, Send me your information for your events, and we can share with everybody else, too, you know? Definitely. Um, let's see, DJ Press Play is doing stuff. I'm just looking There's online real a, quick. Richie Righteous is just, like, throwing stuff up there. You know, there's, there's, there's people doing stuff, man. You just got to yeah. find it. And get connected. Get connected. Also, if you know of some new stuff that's popping off, like venues, events, uh, artists, whatever, let us know. Send us an email, ratfestradio at gmail.com or ratfestinc at gmail.com. Don't forget, you can get a Ratfest Radio little mobile app. Go on ratfestradio.com and click on it. Get the app. Just download also, it to your you know, phone. Any new ministry that would like yeah. a plat- the platform of Ratfest Radio to be interviewed, Send yes. your information. You know, if it's something that we can do, we'll we'll put you up. You know, not put you up. I'm putting you up anyway. Put you up. But yeah. <laughs> we will interview. We will and interview you, out. you, and then we'll. You, I'll show you the door. But no, you <laughs> you can get an interview, and you know, it's no, a forum can you can them use, and we can connect though. you to other events. I have a couple so, that come in. So you know, so. use use these resources. Use definitely, Eli definitely. with Unique. Definitely. You know, oh, and, yeah. and and Rapfest Radio. You know, we're giving you a forum. We've given you a platform that we're willing to. You know, offer to you. Take advantage of it. Right. What else? Anything else? True Voices, too. Oh, True Voices. True JL. Voices. JL Escobar. That's a spoken word. What he said. The Deaf Poetry Dram Jam of uh, Christian poetry. I think their next event is coming up in what March. The last, the last Friday. The last Friday March. in March. The at Harvest Field. Right. At Harvest Field. But TrueVoices.tv is going to come up. But you can check them on. Uh, Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash true voices, I believe. Right. It's also March, March 9th at Sanctuary. There's a, a talent, I think it's called 
Teens, Teens Got Talent. Teens Got, got Talent. talent. Yeah, it's a spoof it. off America's Got Talent. <laughs> and if you got a talent that you don't know what to do with, even if it's baton twirling, wow. you know, whatever it may be that you oh. know how to do, <laughs> come out That'll March 9th. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a screening process before yes. <laughs> you put anybody up Last there. <laughs> yeah, but, baton twirling, nice. <laughs> You see Pastor Flame. Lou's face, right? Yeah, he right. looked at me like, what you talking about? <laughs> Not the time for early. Not the time for early. No, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of good stuff going on. And we just want to encourage you all, you know, be encouraged. You know, uh, I hope you were encouraged by today's chat that we had. We're, we're really just trying to spark something within each and every one of you to just go hit harder at what you're doing. Uh, maybe even if you have to stop for a second and just pat yourself on the back saying, wow, I must be doing a good job. They mentioned my name and said I was doing something good. That's good. We're not. We may not be the you know, the authority in this, but at least you know we'll we'll, we'll, we'll try to recognize what we see and, and and give props and you know we'll try to stay connected. We'll try to help you guys out as much as we can. That's what Rap Fest is here for to help. We're not here. To, you know, it's only one event in the year. So, you know, Rap Fest. That one Rap Fest event is not the only thing we do. We we right. want to help. We want to stay connected. So. All the way from New Life in Connecticut, like I said before, the Prodigal Son in Florida, and Architect in Florida, to the guys in Cincinnati and London, all of them, we're here for that. Etiz, that, um, those dudes are coming up Esso, too. So we're trying to get them for Rap Fest to come out. That'd be yeah, so crazy. Streets, right? Yeah, I already have. I've been speaking to them. Um, we're trying to see if that's possible. We'd love some UK representation out here. That would be yeah. We had once before, I think, right? We've had a couple, but mm-hmm. but I'm talking M-O-D, like I'm, yeah, M O D with cross movement in them. They, they're the pastor now. One well, of the guys from M O D is a pastor now. That's awesome. Um, a lot of rappers become pastors. Yes. That's another segment. Yeah, what rappers become pastors? Come pastors. Uh, Fest Radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we should we should we should do that. We have well, a good. We're gonna have a lot of good topics. We have a lot of good. Year. We have a lot of good topics. Again, Eli's gonna be with us every Monday night. And the first Monday he misses, he will be in trouble for. Uh, it's a, and it's I'll a, be it's on a, air every now and then again. And Alice is going to be back on the air. So, ladies and gentlemen, grab your pens. Get ready to tweet away. <laughs> because Alice will say Alice stuff. says. Pound yeah, Alice, Alice says. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. Alice says. Yeah. You know, your people are like, I'm not that bad. Really. So then you were you see, when you say you're not that bad, you're admitting to some bad. <laughs> That's the, truth. That's the truth. So, thank you. We appreciate that. Okay. Uh, but we're done for tonight. And again, next week, we promise, we're going to have music videos. We're going to have songs. We're going to have, well, working on an artist to interview. But we're definitely going to have music videos and songs ready for you. We have a lot of new music that's been sent to us. If you have some music out there, you want to play it on the air, yeah, go to ratfestradio.com. Uh, there's information there how to submit stuff. If you don't find it, just uh, send me an email, rapfestradio at gmail.com, and we'll send you the details on how to do it. I'm, it's definitely there at rapfestradio.com. Submit music. Uh, music videos as well. We'll play it, you know. Naturally, if the video's good, we'll play it. The video's not that I don't want to represent people bad. Oh, we ran out of time. If it's not that, that good, again. we'll it's let you cool. know, that's and another, we'll steer no. you in the right way to uh, go. Yeah, that's that's too much. Just too much. Up. No, but, you know, people. some people send me stuff, and... I feel bad for them because it's not good. I don't want people to talk bad about them. So I go back. I tell them, hey, you know, you might want to fix this before I play it. I don't want you to look bad. Yeah, is that, please, that's nothing wrong don't. with that, right? I don't want you to look bad. I mean, we could have a segment where I just close my eyes and play everything. We could do that. That should, that's another show. <laughs> we got a lot of good things coming up for well, you. We're up to June or Tune into Radio.com. <laughs> no, we got some good stuff, man. And... We, we, we're we going to hit hard this year. We're going to hit hard this year. We promise. That's that's a promise. Yeah. Amen. And thanks to Pastor Lou for yep, holding Pastor it down Lou, here at down. Rap Fest Radio. You scared the people away. No, New to additions talk, no to our Rap Fest Radio crew. But that's good stuff. Uh, again, shout out to all the churches that support Sanctuary Fellowship, Pastor George Martinez and the whole TSF fam. We yep. love you guys. Keep up the good work. And we'll be back next Monday, 8 p.m. from 8 to 9 p.m. Rapfest Radio, rapfestradio.com. You will learn us because we are out of control. out of control. You can get the podcast at holyculture.net sometime tomorrow and mm-hmm. also on your mobile app. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace. We out. See you guys next week.